Good morning, Helen. Good morning. Good to see Good you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Adam. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go, um, I'm in the middle of signing off Prayer Magazine, so I'm just going to put myself on mute and camera off for a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. How are you today, Helen? Are you okay? Yeah, yes, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, yeah. Good. Have we met before, Helen? Were you involved? Yeah. Probably only this week. This okay, okay. I recognize you from a previous previous day, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been well it prayer week began on Sunday and it was my birthday on Sunday. Oh I felt it was quite timely and that I should join <laughs> every day if possible. <laughs> so I just missed Wednesday because I was uh, I went to see my mum who's uh, very old and very frail and on her own. So uh, yeah. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Uh, where are you living? Up north somewhere? Yeah, I live in Lynn, uh, near Warrington. Oh, Warrington. So okay. I'm, I'm, whoops, I'm not far from Lisa. I've known Lisa for, okay. a, for a very long time now, haven't I? Well, 2009 we met, yeah. um, and it was definitely a God connection. <laughs> are you now in lockdown or? Um, well, we're in tier two. Tier two. So um, yeah, so it's fairly restricted but not yeah. um not to level tier three but i think i don't know if we're going to fall into that um i think it's still under negotiation mm, where are you alan in dorset all right way, way down south so um yeah it's fairly quiet play. down there is it it is quiet yes it is yeah. quiet, mm. which is good Well, give, it, give us another two or three minutes to see if anybody yeah, else can join us. Yeah. Prop this up. Somehow. Rupert's coming to join us this morning. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Just checking out. Let's let him in. John uh, Gilman's coming in. Brilliant, fantastic. <clears throat> well, we Sorry, Lisa. I was going to just. I was going to say we. Ex I thought are we expecting further, um, further lockdown announcements today. Are we? Is that what we're planning or anticipating? Morning, John. Sure, at the moment. Just got to keep on top of it. Hello, hi. Hi, Rupert. Hi, John. Hello, hello, hello. Getting there. If anybody would like to put their camera on, we'd love to see you. Stand now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can we give it one more minute and then we'll start. Glenn's coming to join us. Oh, wonderful, fantastic. Morning, Glenn. Now, I'm, I'm going to, how do I say your name? Is he on Ed? Is that? Sean Ed. Pardon? It's Sean Ed. Sean Ed. Sean Ed. Yeah. It's a, bit like, a little bit like the Irish Sean Ed. Okay, Sean Ed. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful welcome. Thank you. Mm. Beautiful cat, Rupert. Thank you. She's like lovely. <laughs> She's Lizzie. She's 14. That's a thyroid deficiency. Oh. This is absolutely beautiful temperament. Mm. This is the first time she's been on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be a star. Yeah. Right. We, need, we need to screen. We need to screenshot that and put it up on social media, Rupert. 
Amen. Cats of we're using using the hashtag Cats of Prayer Week. Hallelujah. She's licking her lips already. <laughs> right. Um, I think we'll probably start if that's okay with everybody. So um, okay. Well. well, welcome everybody. Welcome to our eleven o'clock in the morning Zoom call today. Um, we're we're focusing um, our prayers on praying for businesses. Um, Delighted to have you with us again. Um, I am also uh, leading this call with Alan Kirby, um, and I would love to introduce him to you now. Um, and we'll just go with the flow praying uh, for business today. So, welcome everybody. Um, hello, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I recognize uh, a couple of people from previous Zooms this week. Um, but it's nice to meet some new people, so uh, that, that's great. Um, as Lisa said, my name's Alan Kirby. Uh, I am the UK director of a Christian ministry called Leading the Way uh, with Dr. Michael uh, Youssef. Um, and it's been thrilling uh, this prayer week uh, to partner with Neighbourhood Prayer Network. This is the first time that Leading the Way has joined up uh, in this way, but really it was uh, the result of some conversations that we've been having over recent months, and really it was a meeting of both hearts and minds in terms of these two ministries uh, linking up. So both organisations have a real passion uh, to see the uncompromising truth of God's word proclaimed, and both organisations have a real passion for prayer. And we felt um, right at the beginning that the theme for this week should be the importance of biblical truth in society. So as you know, we've been having conversations with uh, leading Christian figures from different pillars of society throughout this week. So from government, from media, uh, from science and education, from the church, uh, from sports and entertainment. And today um, uh, we're focusing on the business world. Uh, and I don't know whether you were able to catch the conversation that I had with Sir Brian Souter earlier. Um, it was a real privilege for me to speak to Sir Brian. I've met him a, number, a couple of times before, but this is the first in-depth conversation uh, that I've had with him. And I, I don't know about you, but I was just incredibly impressed and blown away by uh, the story of his business, you know, how it started from him buying two secondhand buses in the 1980s, and now he has this global business um, and what really impressed me was the um, approach that he has to his business from a biblical point of view. And he always uses the Bible as uh, almost like a, a moral compass to direct his business affairs. Uh, so he's now making uh, an awful lot of money. And he said in his interview that he really creates wealth to give it away particularly for Christian ventures across the world. And I found that absolutely uh, thrilling. So we're focusing on, uh, on the business world today, on businesses. Uh, and as we look back over the last few months, we will know personally of people who have suffered, are suffering because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, you know, unemployment, how is my family going to manage? How are we going to get through this and so on? So that's going to be uh, where we start our prayer time. Uh, and if I can just read out the first prayer pointer, uh, which is to pray for businesses and livelihoods that have been impacted by COVID-19. So that will be our starting point. Uh, Lisa will then take us on from there. But let me just lead on this first prayer point, And then I think other people uh, can follow that. So, so let's, let's pray together. Father, I was just reminded uh, of the words from Psalm uh, 16 before we joined this meeting, uh, where the Lord said to David, you Lord, you Lord are all I have. Uh, you give me everything I need. My life is completely in your hands and nothing can shake me. Father, at the outset of our prayer time, uh, this morning, we want to begin by praying 
for all those people uh, up and down this nation who have been impacted by uh, this virus pandemic. Uh, Father, there will be people who are fearful, who are anxious, uh, who have suffered bereavement, uh, who have lost their jobs, uh, lost employment, uh, and maybe they have even lost their businesses. Uh, and Father, we do want to lift each and every one to you this morning and just pray uh, that if they are Christians, that you would remind them of your sovereign love for them, of your sovereign will for their lives. And that that, uh, that, that, that psalm uh, that I just mentioned uh, that those people will come to realization that uh, uh, that the Lord is the one who they can rely on, depend on, uh, fall back on for the provision of every need. And no matter what we are going through at the moment, Father, we just pray uh, that you would be very close to these uh, these people, that you would uh, care for them, that you would supply all their needs at this difficult time and we pray father that as they go through this dark valley through this storm uh, that they would come out the other side and uh, maybe realizing the the blessings that you have bestowed upon them even though they have gone through uh, this this tough and difficult time so father we lift each and every one of your people today who has been impacted and just pray that you would pour your love and your blessing and your strength and provide them with the guidance and help that they need uh, to um, go through this storm and to come out the other side, perhaps knowing you in new and fresh ways as a result. So Father, we lift them to you now and just pray that you'll bless each one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalm 56 verse 8 says, you keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. And Lord, I just want to pray for those who um, are weeping before you, who are just in such a desperate place. And it may be that people are not even able to weep because it's just so painful, so difficult. And Lord, I just want to pray you will minister that you're, uh, they can encounter your love and that you would just um, um, give words of hope, that they will find words of hope in your word, that they will, uh, people will come alongside them to encourage and support and care for them, Father God. So Lord, I just want to pray you would bless them and I just want to pray um, for encouragements for them, Father God, in this time. Lord, I, ju I just uh, commit them into your care, Lord, that they would know that there is a hope and a future for them and their households, that there is a hope and a future for their lives. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, I just want to pray um, for those, as Lisa says, who can't uh, weep because they've not come to grips even with the reality of the situation that's going on in relation to their business, for the interplay that their business has, not just upon uh, themselves, Lord, but for those for whom are part of the, 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 the team and the family. And so, Lord, I just want to pick up um, that whole area of family as we pray into this area of business, that actually for those that lead businesses, there's a family behind them. And Lord, in this time of uncertainty, and particularly in this week where we're seeing uh, various uh, tiers being introduced and towns and cities being put into various types of tiers, Lord, we uh, know or, um, and pray into the, the family effects of those uh, who run businesses or our business leaders lord at this time and so we pray we've been praying this week uh, for families but lord i just want to kind of link the two and pray for those who are 
struggling in their family life because of uh, what's going on in their business life, in their professional life. And so, Lord, we pray for all those who are running businesses at the moment where there isn't uh, peace, but rather anxiety and tension. And that's what's causing things to overflow into their household. Lord, I pray for a sense of shalom peace, particularly uh, those Christian uh, business leaders who are so prevalent, thinking of people like uh, Sir Brian Souter and others, Lord, just praying for shalom peace as they begin to look at uh, the effects, Lord. Lord, this isn't an easy time, and you know that there are many who are crying out to you, and we thank you that you hear prayer. But today, Lord, I want to pray for those whose families are, are so affected uh, by all that's going on in the business world and pray for your shalom peace. Pray for those whom we know, those on our streets, those in our own communities, those whom we live our lives around, those in our families. Lord, people are struggling to be open and honest, but we just pray now, Lord, for just those that we know that need to feel your shalom peace as they navigate through uh, their business activity at this time and as a response to uh, COVID. So we pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Father God, we come before you now. You accept us as we are because of your undying for us. In our weakness, dear Lord, we reach out to you, and we cry to you, dear Lord, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, Lord, for those times that we've shut you out. Forgive us, Lord, for those times that we have forsaken your ways. And dear Lord, we will pray for our land, for those who are struggling. And yet, Lord, you have allowed this to happen to us, Lord. And help us, Lord, to see that through this viral attack, that good will come out of this. Lord, yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And we come against the forces of darkness that seek to disrupt our well-being, that seek to disrupt the workings of our land. Father God, we stand against those powers of darkness. Lord, you are all victorious. And with your authority, we command those forces to leave us and not to harm us. Dear Lord, for those who need your loving touch, pour out your spirit. Pour out your embracing arms and lift them up that they might see the light of your love in their darkness and reach out to you, Lord, and receive from you that saving grace and mercy which you alone can do for them. Dear Lord, this is a wonderful opportunity for your light to shine upon us, to see our land transformed. You've caught a halt to our usual proceedings. Then you're saying to your people, wake up, wake up, I'm going to do a great and wonderful thing. Reach out, reach out and trust me, O people, and hear the voice of the Lord your God in your midst, because he is great, he is mighty, and he is abundantly able to deliver. So, dear Lord, Glorify your name here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Our second prayer point um, is to pray for biblical principles and to be applied in the way people do business.
Father God, I just thank you um, um, for Sir Brian Sota, and I thank you for his testimony um, of how he does business. And I just want to pray that as people live in live lives of integrity before you, in accordance to your word, your that many people will be drawn um, to hear more about you. That there'll be something about the way people do business, who, who, who are um, in relationship with you, who are um, be obedient to your word, that will just uh, speak into hearts and lives, and um, that people would indeed change the way they do business in response to the way they see, um, you know, what Christians are doing. And, and maybe as they change, actually, they will want to know um, why um, and and come to know you father god so i really pray that there'll be uh, in this time where so much trust has been broken down we thank you uh, for christians who are able to do business and take even risks in business because they are um so um found you're, you're so foundational in them that they know that relationships are so important and, and need to be in a place of integrity before you and before others. So just uh, pray, Lord, that, uh, you know, even uh, it's so easy to get swept away in the way the world does things. And I just pray if there are people who do believe and trust in you and they sort of got a bit drawn into sort of habits which aren't honouring before you, that you will, in your love and mercy, just help them, um, you know, change those um, ways they do business to glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Lord, I just pray for those Christians in business who long to do things with integrity, but just fear the consequences of taking decisions which are just so countercultural. Uh, that that um, father that 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 they're just uh, unable to do them father uh, Lord particularly in the areas of faith and and father I just pray that Lord that 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 you would give Christians courage to be bold to take the right decisions even if Lord it looks as if it's going to be disastrous. Uh, Father, as far as the world's concerned, but Lord, uh, to trust you uh, that 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 when we take those steps of faith, that that Lord, you will honour and you will uh, deliver. So, Father, I just pray particularly that you would uh, guide Christian um, directors and people who make decisions, Father. Uh, that they will, uh, Lord, look to you and and not be afraid in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, there are so many different pressures in the business world. Lord, there are targets to be met, there are books to be balanced, there are relationships to be maintained. And dear Lord, it saddens when there is so much unrest, so much anxiety. And yet, Lord, in you we find peace. In you we find joy. In you we find love. We pray, Lord, for all of those Christians who in their workplace are struggling. I pray, Lord, that you'll increase your boldness, your spirit upon them. Lord, where there are injustices, that they will not hide their lamps and their bushels, but be prepared to make a stand, to speak out. For those who are being bullied or harassed, dear Lord, I pray that your people will come alongside them and put your loving arms around them. Even in spite of social distancing, Lord, your love still embraces today. And we thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love, love on which we can depend. We 
a larger court just to respect those who you've placed in authority over us. Whether they're right or whether they're wrong, Lord, we are your servants. So help us, Lord, to carry out our duties, to support one another, and to be your lights in this darkness. Lord, may your name be glorified in our place of work. May those, Lord, who know and love you be your ambassadors. Help them, Lord, we pray. And where there is persecution, let there also be rejoicing and opportunities for that newness of life to shine through to it. Only in you can this be made possible, because you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. Bless and praise your name. Amen. Amen. I feel there's a, a relation between business and the place of business, and particularly in the times we're in. And I, uh, the scripture from Jeremiah 29 7 comes to mind and seek, inquire for, require and request for peace and welfare of the city to which I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray to the Lord for it for in the welfare of the city in which you live and I say even do business you have will, will have welfare so I just want to pray um, for that connect between business and land in this time particularly around all the different decisions that have been made around COVID at this point I just want to pray Holy Spirit that we will be able to be vigilant in our prayer, that we would indeed um, seek, inquire for, require and request the peace and welfare of the city where, where we do business, where we live, Father God. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The final prayer area is praying for entrepreneurs who can help the economy. Father, we want to thank you for the uh, the story that uh, that Brian Souter shared um, uh, about how his business started. Uh, that it was a very uh, entrepreneurial um, uh, venture, uh, full of innovation, uh, and he saw that business opportunity, uh, took the risks. Uh, he had boldness, uh, and many years later, he now has this global business which is employing. Uh, so many people across the world. Father, thank you for that entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, and we do want to pray, Father, for, um, uh, for, for Brian's work in training and identifying uh, young entrepreneurs who have a passion to start their own businesses. And we want to pray for young Christians in particular uh, who maybe uh, have left university, they have business ideas, uh, entrepreneurial talent has been identified, and may they, maybe they're looking for the opportunities to start their businesses. Father, we just pray uh, for that whole process. Uh, and as Brian Souter started his business, and years later, uh, the success of his business has meant that, uh, you know, he has now set up the, the Souter Charitable Trust that is giving away over a hundred million pounds to charities across the world. Father, thank you for that spirit. And we do want to uh, just pray for that, uh, um, that uh, sense of innovation, uh, that more businesses would be started in that way, that more Christians would come forward to start businesses like that, who would go on to follow uh, Brian's example of creating wealth, which can then be used in the service of your kingdom. So just want to, 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 to pray uh, for that whole sector uh, that you would raise up a new generation of young people who will grow businesses uh, in their uh, mission to serve you. And we want to commit this to you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Lord, I just want to pray for vision. Um, I just want to pray for inspiration. And I also want to pray um, that people um, will be able to step out with what's in their hand um, and that they would be wise in establishing any businesses, that they will have good counsel around them, that they will um, not rush ahead perhaps, but they will get their foundations right with you, but also right in the business in the way they do business, in the way they relate to others, that they will look at their aims, they will look at their objectives, they would um, seek you about them. Um, and Lord, I just want to pray for divine connections. Just want to pray that you will connect people with the people that they need um, maybe um, some type of um, input from. It may be their um, experience. It, it may be um, financial support. Uh, it may be um, that they will come on board and be part of what uh, the business will be, what the business already is, um, so that it will grow and flourish. Um, and I also pray for those who may be struggling at this point with um, stepping out. And I would ask that you would just um, come alongside and that you would actually um, give them clarity about what you are saying and what you are asking, Father God. But the first ask is always going to be our relationship with you. So Lord, I just pray that that relationship Sometimes when we get so busy and get lost, I just pray that that first love would indeed just be stirred up in the hearts of business people that know you up and down the nation and in other nations, I ask, in and through the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray amongst all the things that we've prayed this morning, for wisdom and that people will seek wisdom in your word. Proverbs 19 verses 20 to, to 23 say, get all the advice and instruction you can and you'll be wise for the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive and it's better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord gives life, security and protection from harm. So Lord, we do indeed pray that people will set up their businesses um, by your biblical principles, O oh Lord. And that entrepreneurs will seek advice uh, and instruction, O oh Lord, from those who have gone before. And Lord, we know that many times people fail, um, but get up again and, and try again and fail and try. And But Lord, your word says what we sow in tears, we reap in joy. Lord, I pray that you give people the strength to keep going, to keep trying. But Lord, we thank you that your plans will prevail. Lord, help people to prepare for today. Lord, you're set, you say uh, the worries are, are in, enough for today or, and not to worry about tomorrow. So, Lord, I pray you help people see clearly and have clarity of thought to plan for today, but also the confidence to prepare for tomorrow. Lord, as we go into these different tiers, you know, we see it as a, as a pyramid and, you know, we've seen, Lord, that you count our tears as precious. And, Lord, what we sow in tears, we, we reap in joy. Lord, you are the God who turns all things around for God. But as we see the pyramid, Lord, you know, sometimes we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg, Lord, but there's so much going on 
underneath, Lord, and we pray for those who are, feel that they're going under, Lord, and we pray that your hand will raise them up, and we pray that they're able to look, um, look up, not down, and as they look up and praise you, Lord, that that pyramid will be reversed, and I pray for a divine reversal, Lord, and I pray, O oh Lord, that, um, you know, we've heard books need to be balanced, Lord. I pray for books to be filled with orders. We, we pray for order in this, this nation, Lord, divine order. We call things into order, out of the chaos, Lord. And we pray that you will fill the order books, O oh Lord, um, with, with new, new what, whatever, new products, new whatever people are, um, manufacture, whatever people invent, O oh Lord. I pray that um, your wisdom helps people to be creative, creator God, O oh Lord, and that we will indeed arise out of the ashes, that this nation will indeed arise and shine because you are the God whose purpose and plan will prevail in this nation, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, Rupert's put something in the place here, and I just want to, to just honour that. Um, he's, he's put, uh, Transport Work UK is a global and national Christian organisation that seeks to support and assist Christian fellowship groups in the workplace. Um, he, and, and he's asked, um, you know, and, and he says, as we approach Advent and Christmas, we have an opportunity to share in the workplace our faith and the birth of Jesus and the significance of this. May God continue to bless workplace fellowship groups and, and that seeds of hope and life be sown. And I say amen to that. And we, we bless you, Rupert, and your ministry. We bless you. Um, we thank you for your ministry and we bless those who are part of all many different types of uh, ministry in the workplace, different workplace chaplains. We thank you, God, for each and every workplace chaplain, wherever they might be. We thank you, God, for the various fellowships that exist in different workplaces and businesses. And we thank you and we bless them in and through the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right, we come to the um, end of our prayer time um, so um, if, if we can all unmute and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together okay right. um, and we can say it at maybe a different version that's okay um, but we're just saying it together and that's symbolic okay let, let us pray our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy name. Thy name. Thy name. Thy name. Your will will be done. Done. On, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we have forgiven those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Um, for yeah. gathering to join us on this Zoom prayer call and um, we will be gathering again uh, tomorrow at 11am for those who are able to join us. Have a great um, day. God bless. God bless. Just one, one thing before you log out, um, as well as tomorrow, there's also an opportunity to gather on Sunday evening at six. But it's a very it's a different link for Sunday at six. So do get in touch with Lisa and I if you are able to join us on, on Sunday evening at six as we think about praying for older people, which is particularly important, I think, given all that's going on. So come and join us for that on Sunday at six. Okay. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Bye. 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 Bye.